The game of football is full of incredible drama, inexhaustible excitement, and genuine passions. Even for the best football players, when they have experienced victory, their ego consistently pushes them for bigger and greater goals. To show support, urge more dedication, and pursue glory as a team, fans join their clubs in stadiums and on various other platforms to cheer them to glory. Football is a team sport. Yes, its players are adored by fans around the world. However, there are some footballers who we just love to hate for reasons like off-the-pitch scandals, diving, fighting, dirty rough play, dark arts, insults, and other controversies. Some footballers have unfortunately been on the receiving end of those negative emotions, sometimes for warranted reasons while sometimes for just being who they are. Here are the six most hated footballers in the world. 1. Luis Suarez Okay, I'm sure you aren't one bit surprised with his inclusion. Where do we begin with this wretch? For most fans, Luis Suarez first came to hateful prominence when he handled on the goal line to prevent a certain goal against Uruguay in the 2010 World Cup. With Ajax, he bit an opponent. The Uruguayan has ticked off everyone from fans to players to managers to pundits with his actions on the pitch. Suarez has some incredible talent, but he just can't stay out of trouble. After moving to the Premier League, Suarez was repeatedly accused of diving after winning several penalties for Liverpool. Then, there was his ban for racially abusing Patrice Evra. Two more bites followed, with the Uruguayan vampire biting Branislav Ivanovic in a 2013 match against Chelsea and Giorgio Cialini in a 2014 World Cup match against Italy. In his prime, Luis Suarez was definitely among the top five strikers in the world. But the hugely talented Uruguayan is also one of modern sport's greatest villains. He has always suffered with temperamental issues, and those have contributed to tarnishing his reputation. The center forward is considered a very lucky man because despite his on-field theatrics, the player has only been sent off twice in his career. He has been booked for simulations in the final third, has caused unrest in the dressing room, and provoked rival fans. But that is just an everyday nuisance for Suarez, and not what makes him special. Offenses like racially abusing Patrice Evra, handling the ball and affecting the outcome of games, are the ones that make him the bad boy of football. Yet after all those altercations, charges, and accusations, Suarez will be remembered as one of the most lethal strikers of modern football. 2. Pepe Pepe is infamous for his aggressive, combative, dangerous, and hard-tackling style of play. The Portuguese defender regularly draws criticism in the media due to his tendency to pick up cards, unsportsmanlike behavior, diving, and violent challenges on the pitch. However, one of the main reasons why Pepe is the most hated footballers is because of his obvious hatred for Lionel Messi. During his time in La Liga with Real Madrid, he was always red-carded for his overly aggressive tackles on the beloved Argentine legend. The Real Madrid defender has seen more cards than a poker player and is perhaps the most hated defender in Spain, if not Europe. Pepe is notorious for his reckless tackles and managed to piss off the entire legion of Barcelona supporters and also managed to tick off the German supporters in the World Cup with a harsh tact on Thomas Muller, which earned him a straight red card. I don't see the Portuguese changing his attitude, but it would be helpful if he does in the future. 3. Neymar There are many things that unite strangers in football. One of them is the rage and urge to troll Neymar Jr. The Brazilian is the most expensive footballer in the history of the sport, but has failed to live up to those towering expectations. Neymar's questionable character first became apparent in 2010, when his altercation with Santos manager Dorival Jr. led to the manager being sacked. Since then, he has continued to disrespect players, coaches, and referees throughout his career, racking up several red cards. After four years with Barcelona, Neymar moved to PSG to play in the non-competitive French League. The 2017 transfer seemed to be motivated more by money than by footballing reasons. His immaturity has been visible on the field on many occasions, and he's just gotten carried away with his emotions. The conflict with Edinson Cavani on the penalty incident was well covered by the French media, and Neymar was the villain again. The Brazilian was supposed to be a man for the big moments, 
constantly grabbing headlines for the right reasons, and he's done everything but that. In his best years, he did not win the Ballon d'Or and was eclipsed by rising star Kylian Mbappé. Finally, Neymar's playing style is particularly selfish. He would rather do it all himself than involve his teammates, and sometimes he does, but these decisions can cost his team and frustrate fans. With only a few years left at the top, Neymar has not won any European trophies since his PSG move. 4. Diego Costa Diego Costa is known for having a bad temper and for lashing out at other players, resulting in several charges for violent conduct, including stamping on opponents. Costa appears to engage in psychological warfare during games, in which he attempts to create the confrontations he is involved in. The short-tempered center forward has been shown a yellow card 147 times in his career and has been given his marching orders 11 times. Keeping himself disciplined has been difficult for Costa, who has crossed the line on the pitch multiple times. The Blues fans had little problem with him because the player was trying to do everything to win, even if that meant getting nasty and unfair. Diego Costa was a true wind-up merchant. He conquered Martin Skirtle, Laurent Koscielny, and Gabriel, among others, throughout his time at Chelsea. The Spanish international was a bully to defenders, and that much credit he deserves. But very often he shoved players for no reason, head-butted them, attempted to bite them, and sometimes even grabbed them by the neck. The rival fans absolutely hated the sight of Costa, not just because he'd give them a tough time, but also because he played dirty. The most notable instances for which he has invited all the hate have involved players like Everton's Gareth Barry and Stoll City's Ryan Shawcross. In the 2015 League Cup semi-final, Costa had various toxic exchanges with the Liverpool side, whom he tried to take on all alone. 5. Mario Balotelli A man who holds little regard for others' emotions, Mario Balotelli has always divided opinions among football fans. The Italian has a boastful CV in terms of the clubs he has been with. AC Milan, Inter Milan, Manchester City, and even Liverpool are just some of the top clubs he has played for. Yet most managers who have managed him will tell you that Balotelli never reached his peak. It was all down to his attitude. A provocative figure, the striker knew exactly how to annoy opposition players and crowds in the stadium. His celebrations in the most tense and high-stakes games, the way he threw tantrums on a few other occasions, were all traits of his personality. The 31-year-old was being his usual unapologetic self on all those occurrences, but continued making enemies throughout his career. From his teenage days, when Balotelli was granted Italian citizenship, racist and abusive phrases were hurled at him for no reason. One of the most notable instances from the early days was a one, one draw between Juventus and Inter Milan in 2009. The striker was the target of such demeaning chants throughout the match, but Super Mario has taken a strong stand from time to time and continues to smile through it all. His famous celebration, Why Always Me, captures all these interesting aspects and instances. 6. Joey Barton Arguably the dirtiest player the English Premier League has ever seen, and one of the most aggressive footballers ever, Joey Barton regularly got into trouble and seemed to always enjoy it. The English midfielder had a reputation for making extremely rough tackles and fighting with teammates and managers alongside opposing players. He is one of the few footballers who have been to prison before. I can never really understand the case of Joey Barton. He isn't overly talented or a key part of his team, but still loves seeing himself in the news, for all the wrong reasons. The former QPR midfielder has made headlines for his less-than-respectful remarks about former Manchester United manager Sir Alex Ferguson, his unapologetic views about Roy Hodgson's management skills, and for his tweets that always end up making a fair share of controversies over the last few years. A toned-down approach to his views would go a long way for him, Thank you for watching, do subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell for more videos. Until the next one, stay tuned.